In this special on hacking, we've already met parents William and Michelle and shown them in terrifying detail that a hacker can easily gain access to their baby's webcam. Next, we sent our ethical hacker, whom we're calling Dan, to another family's home. So tell me the first thing that you do. The first thing I would do is I would make sure that it's actually a wireless network. So I'm going to go and run another scan on my computer just to make sure that my computer picks up the network. So I'm a little far away from the network, so the process is a little slow, but there's my answer right there. That's the encryption key. So right now I'm in the network, I've connected to the wireless network, and from this point I can launch a scan attack to see what devices are actually on the network. That's, so that's their password? It took Dan about an hour, but he found the family's cameras. And within minutes, we were right there, inside the house with the family. Hey Brock, how are you? Wow, you can hear perfectly. Have fun tonight. So this is crazy, like how clear the picture is how the audio is perfect. Yeah, it also depends on the camera as well, of course. Well, if we were thinking of robbing this house, I see a dog now. You can even see where she is in the house and where the kitchen is, if she's talking to anybody, if she's alone. Absolutely. So she's talking about transactions with the bank. August 2014. Okay, that was clear as day and Perfect picture. Cool. I'll talk to you later. So we could see you, your son, where you were in the house. I could hear your credit card number. I think it was your uh, ATM pin number. Wow. Without any issue. That's even scarier than a pin number. My ATM number, I think, is a scary, really scary. Did you even I, realize, though, that it was that easy? that we would be able to hack into your home and see everything so clearly? Uh, not at all. I'm, I'm just shocked. I did not, I didn't have any idea. I mean, you know, you try to protect your stuff with passwords and things, but I didn't realize that somebody driving by can pull up all my information. Sandy Goldstein is our computer forensic and security expert. This is where you need to tell us what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Can you give us yeah, spill. three yeah. main points of spill, yeah, how spill. we change our lifestyle right now? Three points. First, passwords. Make them complex, don't share them, and never send them electronically to anyone for any reason. Mm. Two, if you're a parent, make sure you communicate with your children. Um, there is monitoring software, but the big three, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, make sure you know what your kids are doing. Be involved. Be their Facebook friends. Be on, uh, communicating with their Twitter accounts. Know what's happening. There's up-to-date wireless technology that we could install as well, too. Don't stick with the old stuff. No, no. You, you, you have to be on top of this and using uh, more advanced technology, using monitoring tools. Make sure you're dealing with encryption of password. One key word, if you want to take away with technology, is encryption.